Hi, wife. Hey, husband. <laughs> so, what do you want to do for a honeymoon? Oh, grab my purse. Check it out. It's my collection of sugar packets stolen from the finest eateries in Pine Valley. I didn't realize I was marrying a sugar thief. No, look at the pictures on the back. See, Pike's Peak, Yosemite. Niagara Falls. No, that's corny. Everybody goes there. Oh, here we go. The Grand Canyon. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's get over. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay, close your eyes. All right. Okay. We're at the North Peak, looking right down into the canyon. The, the colors are incredible. It's like red rock everywhere. And the sun's going down. It's like this great big fireball is right down into it. And then the stars come out. And we lie on our backs and we count them. Hey, you guys, I'm sorry, but Mrs. Dupree needs to take her meds. Oh, I'm sorry, Do you mind? We're sort of in the middle of our honeymoon. I know, I know, I know, but Laura's still under my care, and it's my job that she stays on schedule. Well, I suppose we could pretend it's uh, room service. <laughs> yeah, they don't have room service at the Grand Canyon. Uh, no, we aim to please at the Grand Canyon Hotel. <laughs> well, I'm a little tired. I wonder if room service wouldn't mind leaving. Say no more. Look, enjoy your stay here at the Grand Canyon. If you honeymooners need anything else, I'll be right outside the door, okay? All right. Thank you, Zora Dora. I love you, Leo. You make magical things happen. The magic's only just begun. Dad. We need to approach Ryan about testing Jillian as a possible heart donor for Laura. Well, there isn't really a right time, is there? No. No. But time is crucial. Laura's condition is very grave. She can't survive without a transplant. Yes, but Ryan needs time to mourn the woman he loves so much. better than I dreamed. I have everything I ever wanted. Right here. Hey. I'm not supposed to say that. There's something we need to discuss. You can forget your machines and your test. Jillian's... She's still with me. She's still alive. You know, I would trade places with Laura. But I know that's not how you work. So, I'm here to ask you. I'm here 
to beg you to send a miracle and save my daughter. I know maybe I don't deserve one, but I know that Laura does. And if you could just do something, if you could just... send someone to do what the doctors can't do and save my daughter's with you right now. You better deal with me. I found a heart for Laura. Yeah. There's one thing I want to do before it's too late. What? Anything? We just got married. Aren't the bride and groom supposed to dance? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little tricky the way they got you all hooked up here, but I think we can work it. You okay to stand? I'm a little tired. Well, then, stand on my feet like we did before. Oh, Let me do the hard part. I'll hurt you. No. What do you weigh? But... Well, look at, my, look at my feet. Look at that. They're like bolts. See that? Hop aboard. Come on. There you go. There you go. Okay. Right. I guess the band forgot their amplifiers, huh? I can't hear the music. Can't you? You found a heart for Laura. It's the miracle you've been waiting for. Uh, I know that it's very hard to believe. I swear, if you are messing with me... I'm trying to help you, Brooke. Help me! By what? Getting my hopes up when you don't even know what you're talking about? Brooke, I, I'm talking about a gunshot victim who is, who is lying in the ICU right now. No, Brooke, wait. Brooke, oh, oh. Oh, Ryan, I'm... I'm sorry. Guys, things are just jumbled up right now. There's some good things and some... some terrible things. I, I think that my daughter might have a chance. Bro, they brought somebody into the ICU with a gunshot wound, and... and if they don't survive... I know, I know, it's a terrible thing to hope for. But if I could talk to the family, and if it's a match, and... If this person doesn't survive, then, then Laura can have a chance to have a new heart. I'm... This shouldn't have happened. What? What? You ran out before I had a chance to tell you. Who is the gunshot victim? Oh, my God. I was just, just 
starting to feel safe. It's getting harder to talk. I was living on the street, and Brooke took me in. She fed me. And I'll never forget this big glass of milk. It's the best thing I ever tasted in my whole life. Milk it is. All right, okay, so I want you to, I want you to hold down the floor for me while I go raid the nurse's station, all right? Um, they got a fridge in there, so I think they have gallons of milk. I, I, I shouldn't drink it. It's our honeymoon, all right? One sip won't kill you, all right? And then, and then, then I'm going to cut you off, though, okay? starting to slip away, sorry. She is, isn't she? The mug of scan results are back. Now, that's one way of measuring the job that the heart is doing. Now, the normal reading is 45%. Laura is at 8%. Eight. I, I'm sorry. She, she is getting worse, much faster than we expected. I'm, I'm sorry. So it's, it's, it's hopeless. Right. Hey, it is if you let her give up. Good as you remembered? Better. Oh, good. How so? Well, drinking the milk in Brooke's living room, it's like I finally felt home. I felt safe. That's how you feel with me? Even more so. I wish I could tell you how much it's getting harder to talk. Well, then don't, then don't. I got a big mouth. I can, I can yippity yap for the both of us, okay? All right. Uh, the topic being, where the heck are we going to go for a honeymoon? Let's see. Okay, we're, uh, sh we're flying in our private jet, okay? And you get to pick wherever we want to land. Venice. Venice it is. All right, let's see. And you're wearing your wedding dress, and you look so sexy, I can't even take my eyes off you. And I got, I got this, uh, this, this morning coat, you know, like they wear, and those uh, geeky pinstripe trousers. Love Italian style. Bellissima! Wow. It's beautiful. Look, it's like the whole world floats. Didn't I tell you? Venice is the place for romance. Wow. I always wanted to come here, but I never thought I would. Well, Venice is fine, but uh, if you want atmosphere, there's only one place in the world. Oh, here in your arms? Oh, okay, two. Here in my arms in Paris. Can we go there? Right now? Like before the sun sets? <laughs> Forget it. I didn't. I didn't know it was 
Show me the mess they brought into the ICU. Well, now you know, so you can leave. I'm so sorry that you're in pain. I wish I could help. I know what it feels like. I have no idea. Brian. I lost my youngest daughter years ago, and now I'm minutes away from losing another child. You and I are both in pain. I know I don't have the right. They don't know anything, do you? you're going through is horrible. I know that. Do you? Then help me, Ryan. I can't. But if Jillian, if she doesn't... Jillian is not dying. Do you want to go see for yourself? Do you? She survived, okay? And she's getting better because I could feel it. So just take her off your list. I don't understand. Is, um, is, is Jillian going to be okay? No. She's not. But Ryan said that... Ryan um, can't let go. Jillian's gone. We've run several tests on her today. She has no brainstem function. Then is she? She's alive. But she's only being kept alive because she's hooked up to life support. Julian didn't want Laura to die. No. She even signed her donor card when she found out that Laura was diagnosed. The problem is, is that she never made a living will. And Ryan has a right to refuse the donor card. And we must honor his wishes. Oh, I know, monster. Because you want your dog to live? I don't think so, Brooke. Is there even a chance anymore? Laura and Jillian have the same blood type. And that's the first incompatibility. You mean so Laura and Jillian could be... could be a match? It looks that way so far. And there's tissue typing that Brian would have to approve of, and then, you know, if that confirms the match, then... We'd still have time to do the transplant. You mean if Laura hasn't died by then? More than you can bear, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I wish you didn't have to do this. I wish with all my heart. I wish that there was something I could do to save you, honey. But that's not the way it works. I mean... Either... 
keep everybody at a distance. And then nobody can hurt you. And then you're all alone. Or you let people into your heart. And then you lose them, you turn around and they're gone. Oh, you make that sound very terrible, the way you say that. But I think you're leaving out the crucial part. What? What happens when you let yourself love someone? You're right. It makes you vulnerable. But then you gain a strength that you never had on your own. And that's what gets you through the terrible times. Loving. Being loved. But some people never find that. Somebody who loves them. Jet, and I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Leo, there's something I have to tell you. About Laura? No. But it's it's bad. But Brooke, I'm a little bit overloaded right now. Could you, could you please save it? You have to know. It's about your friend. Jillian Lavery. Someone attacked her at Wild Wind. She was shot. And they brought her here. She's in ICU. Is she okay? No. It's just a matter right now of when they turn off the machines. Oh, my God. I know. It's unimaginable how this has all worked out. The thing is... Jillian's heart was not damaged. So it may be the only thing that's going to help Laura live. What about Ryan? He must be in shock. He is. He's in ICU with Jillian right now. He, he can't... He can't let her go. Well, it, did, did he... Did, did, did he talk to her about Laura? I tried to talk to him, but it was... It was too painful. All right, well, I better try before it's too late. 